Moses, I got it. Yeah. When, Mo, when it was Abraham's time to go up to Mount Moriah, this was a time that God was about to pronounce a blessing over Abraham's life, a multi-generational blessing over Abraham's life. Everybody can go in that place. Yeah. Only him and Isaac. That's why he had to get rid of Ishmael. That's why he had to get rid of, of, of Hagar. And so when God caught Abraham up, he didn't even tell Sarah. Because listen, Sarah already proved that she can't handle it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's some folks that she don't even like to your party. I don't care how mad you get. Last time I brought you in here, you turned the whole house upside down. You, you, you crazy. You Something's wrong with you. No, you can't come. I love you, boo, but this time you can't. All right. So he could not tell Sarah what God said. Because some people, and I hate to say it, but it's truth, and truth is, is truth is true. There's some folk that can't handle certain things. That's right. Lord have mercy. Oh, Sarah could not handle, and she would have found out that God was calling Abraham to a higher place, and she didn't get the call. My Lord. She would have fought him. Did God really say that? Are you sure he wants you to take Israel? Where's, I mean, Isaac, where's the sacrifice? And so there's some things that God does in your life you can't tell nobody. You're going to have to hold that thing, and if you're one that can't hold water, you got to ask yourself how authentic is the prophetic grace on your life. Because 